Welcome to another episode of Jeff's Tasteless Tattoo Tour. This is the fourth and final episode, probably the shortest, hopefully, because I, I tend to ramble and run on. Um, <laughs> but today we're going to be covering um, my chest, stomach, and back, the final, final pieces of artwork that I have. I guess I'll start with my oldest. Um, I have a Operation IV tattoo um, right over my heart. I guess because that was one of the one of the early bands that that just really got me in into punk rock and, and ska music and just that whole underground music kind of sound. Um, I got it at Urban Art. Um, I used to get a lot of tattoos at Urban Art in my early 20s. It was actually a tattoo that um, was the first that was on my body, um, and I remember getting it on my chest and halfway through just wanting to tap out. And, and guy was like, no, 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 come on, man. You can do this, you can sit through this. Uh, so that's kind of a cool story behind that. At the time, I couldn't really afford the tattoo, but I paid for it anyways, <laughs> just because I wanted it so bad, you know? This next one is another uh, John Crook special, Bill's brother. Um, he did a fatty Misfits tattoo on my stomach that's a little weathered and torn today, but, um, um, when he did it, it was probably one of those most cringy experiences ever. We did it in this shitty apartment. Um, we did it on, on the kitchen counter. I had two guys holding me down because the pain was so fucking immense. And I just wasn't used to that kind of ink contact. Um, but uh, yeah, I remember when he first did up the stencil, I'm like, no, it's got to be bigger. It's got to be bigger. It's got to be bigger. And I think he drew it up three different times. And it's fucking huge. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I, it looks cool now, but I didn't think I was ready for the three to four hours of pain. I call that tattoo his grandpa. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's my grandpa. <laughs> my, uh, I got a tattoo of my grandpa. Fiend skull, old ass fiend skull tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like the oldest tattoo on me, that's for sure. <laughs> Next up has a really interesting story too. Uh, also done by William Crook. This seems like a common trend. Um, oh yeah, because you guys are best friends. Yeah, we've just been kind of... I don't know, it's... It's a little more fun getting tattooed by friends than like going to a shop. And you know the shop experience is awesome. Yeah. But you know, getting tattooed at home by friends just has a totally different feel to it. And I ended up getting the uh, PBR logo on my chest. And what makes this story really interesting is uh, Bill wanted to tattoo me. He didn't care what it was. And we spent time looking around my fucking shitty apartment <laughs> trying to find random things that, that, that we could possibly use as a tattoo or something I'd even be interested in. And uh, uh, he ended up picking up a, uh, a PBR can. I like beer, especially PBR. And uh, motherfucker actually literally traced the can itself with the tattoo paper. But I shouldn't have done that. No, I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> he traced it from the fucking can itself and put it on my chest. Uh, he would call it my redneck bow tie. <laughs> I wasn't with him when he got it. It was right before we got together. I'm talking like a month or two. And. <laughs> it's not cute. I don't think so. <laughs> Sorry. Next up, um, I've already uh, walked you through two of two of my other side tattoos. And yes, yet again, I got another side tattoo on the other side of my chest. And that was another one of those long ass, um, long ass drawn out tattoos that, um, I ended up not regretting, but uh, it, it was definitely an experience. I love Psy. What can I say? Um, the boy loves some Psy. I love some Psy. I, you know, I like Japanese metal. I think that's what it really comes down to. I just love my Japanese metal, which shocks me why I don't have a deer and gray tattoo yet, but someday, someday it needs to happen. Next, um, I have, this is another really interesting story. Um, I decided to get No, so I have a Brainiac tattoo on my chest, and it was technically done in 
in two different portions and it was a stroke of brilliance by Bill because I had originally got you know the Brainiac itself across you know just green I wanted that really cool lettering um, then I came to him after and I wanted another type of logo thing which was like the Brainiac B and it had some like macrocosm shit going around it or whatever and he's like hey how about we just take the one that we have on your chest I'll blow because the tattoo is really small he's like how about we blow it up and we throw it behind that bitch and I'm like that's a good fucking idea I mean do you think you can pull it off and I think it came out. It came out really good. It came out really good. Uh, yeah, that was like such a good call. Like, uh, yeah, I was just. It really I was impressed me. that when he told me what, he, what yeah. had happened and how the idea came yeah, out. Yeah, I was really stuff, impressed. I'm I like, thought it was Bill really cool. Burrell, like I was a little skeptical on it at first, but I'm like, how old, I, I how see, old was he when he did that? Let's see. This was that would have been about six, about six, six, six and a half years ago, maybe. So take that off now. So we've been about 24, 24, something like that, and we're in our 30s now. <laughs> so you do the math. That was pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, the next one up is uh, kind of right below it. Um, it's another Brainiac tattoo, and um, it's it's not on the album itself, but it's a little character you see on the disc, like on the CD, so it, it's really just kind of random and stuff, and you wouldn't know it unless you really knew the band. Um, but it's a little devil head type thing, and that was also done by Joel um, from Mortuary Tattoo very many years ago, and... Uh, the person that I went to get this tattoo with, uh, they told me that the entire time I was in the chair, I was like pale white. I was like, <laughs> just trying to get through it. Cause like, it, you know, it's like right under my, my, my boob, you know, and it, it's such a tender spot. I mean, that shit. I really kill. like that tattoo, it's cute. Yeah, yeah, I, I really like it too. I just, reds and greens really pop on my skin. Um, I think, I think we're down to our last, last two to be honest with you i wish i had a little more uh this next one is a um my f my fourth side tattoo um it's another album cover you know of a tree with what album is it it's from gallows gallery um which is a really one of their most interesting albums just based on the fact that um Psy has always had like a like a black like an experimental black metal kind of sound to them. And they started to get a little more experimental on and the record labels getting pissed. They're like, listen, this next album that she put out needs to be fucking fucking black metal as fuck. It needs to be real harsh, real fucking fast. So what do they do? They put out an album that's completely prog rock with no screaming in it whatsoever. Which just fucking cracks me up. But the sound on it is is, is it's just it's so different and experimental, and if you're a fan of any kind of metal, it's something I would definitely check out. Last but not least, um, the last one I have on my back is um, a Naruto tattoo, and it's a tattoo mm -hmm. also done by Bill. Not uh, finished. Not finished yet, um, but it's a manga style of Kakashi, um, which is a character in Naruto. I don't know. I can't really go on too much about Naruto because I'll sound like even more of a dork than I am now. But it's a fucking awesome show. It is so good. And me and the little lady are so happy that I have this beautiful ninja man on my back. <laughs> ninja man. <laughs> but either way, uh, thanks again for watching. Another shout out to Joelle on this one. Another hundredth shout out to William Crook, old Billy, Billy Spunks. <laughs> it means so much to me. Uh, thanks again for watching the fourth and final episode of Jeff's Tasteless Tattoo Tour. It's been a fun experience um, talking with you guys, showing my ink, and uh, giving the proper call outs to all the people who have stabbed me over and over again with needles. Um, I appreciate your effort. So, thank you guys for watching again. Uh, please like and subscribe <laughs> and share. Uh, yeah, I mean, this definitely isn't all we got. We've got her channel, uh, we got her vlog, um, we have Classic Kickback, which we need to get back on track with that as well. Um, so yeah, there's, there's lots to gain from subscribing and liking this channel. 
if anything, to help so us. So, Senpai out. noticed me. <laughs> uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Konnichiwa. Uh, we'll catch you guys on the next episode, episode of something. something. Oh, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. Have a good night. Have a good Bye. Week. Bye.